The Princess of Wales looked as radiant as ever as she attended the Buckingham Palace Christmas diplomatic reception this evening. Accompanied by King Charles, Queen Camilla, and the Prince of Wales, Kate, 41, took center stage in a rose gold Jenny Packham Georgia gown costing approximately £5,000, which was embellished with sequins. Kate paired the stunning ball gown, which she has previously worn to attend the wedding reception of Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan and Princess Rajwa in June 2023 with a Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order Sash. To add to the glamour, Kate sported the Cambridge Lover's Knot Tiara. The dazzling diamond and pearl tiara was once owned by Prince William's mother Princess Diana. The royal mother of three completed her dazzling outfit for tonight's event in London with Her Late Majesty's stunning gravel diamond chandelier earrings. Kate went for a glamorous makeup look for tonight's event, complete with a smoky eyeshadow, while her glossy brunette tresses were kept out of her face with the help of the lover's knot tiara. The tiara, which Kate's mother-in-law said was so heavy it gave her headaches, was kept in a safe at Buckingham Palace after Princess Diana's 1997 death before it was handed to William's wife. It was made by Royal Jewelers Gerard in 1914 to Queen Mary's personal design, from pearls and diamonds already in her family's possession. Queen Mary had commissioned it to replicate her grandmother, Princess Augusta, Duchess of Cambridge's, early 1800s Cambridge lover's knot tiara, according to jewellery historian and novelist Josie Goodbody. When Gerard delivered the headpiece to Queen Mary only months before the start of the First World War, there were 19 upright pearls on the cresting, as well as the 19 pendant pearls we see today which were transferred to the Vladimir Tiara to be interchangeable with the emeralds. The lover's knot name comes from the bows that run the length of the band. The bow is tied in a complicated knot, making it hard to untie, symbolizing the bonds of love. Kate was first seen in this exquisite piece in December 2015 for the annual diplomatic reception at Buckingham Palace. This evening's royal show of unity will be seen as a sign of solitary following the furore of Omid Scabi's new book on the monarchy after it emerged that a Dutch-language version contained the names of two family members accused by the Duchess of Sussex of unconscious bias. The book claimed Prince Harry's wife Meghan, 42, had named the king himself as well as his daughter-in-law, Kate, 41, in letters she wrote to him on the issue. Buckingham Palace has not commented publicly, but aides have made clear that the king and his senior advisers are, considering all options open to them over the unsubstantiated claims, including the possibility of legal action. They have, however, been comforted by the sympathetic public reaction they have received to, revelations, in the poorly reviewed book and may decide to let that speak for itself. Tonight's event saw the king, his heir and their wives greet the great and good of the diplomatic corps, ambassadors, high commissioners and the like officially registered to the Court of St. James's for pre-Christmas drinks in the state rooms at Buckingham Palace.
As head of state, the king plays a vital role in UK diplomacy, supporting the work of the Foreign Office at home and abroad. The event will also have been the first time the king has been able to talk personally to his son and daughter-in-law since the latest row around the Duke and Duchess of Sussex broke. Sources have told the Mail that the family will be in no rush to make their carefully considered decision about how to progress. Earlier in the day they were also out and about in force on a series of engagements. William surprised shoppers when he was spotted selling copies of the The Big Issue at a Tesco in Hammersmith, West London. The prince was reunited with magazine seller Dave, whom he has met on several previous occasions, even exchanging Christmas cards. Vendor Dave Martin told Mail Online. William came down in the morning and helped me sell some magazines. He is a very nice man. Helping me sell the magazines was a kind gesture. It's very good that he's helping the homeless. You can tell he does it because he cares. Meanwhile his wife met a little girl whose space-themed designs for a new children's day surgery unit were inspired by her late father, who she says has now gone to the stars. The princess chatted to Ella Moth, 9, who won a competition to design the artwork for the new unit at the Evelina Children's Hospital in London. She took her inspiration from the tragic death of her father, Piers, who died of brain cancer in 2021. The princess, who is patron of Evelina London, asked Ella, How does it feel to have your design on the wall for other children to enjoy, being an inspiration for loads of other kids? Ella replied, I didn't think it would ever happen. The new facility, which cost £55 million to build, allows children to be treated in one location on the same day, reducing the stress caused by numerous hospital visits. In the recovery area she met Saya Stevenson, 4, who was resting in bed after an operation that morning to remove excess skin for her ears. The princess hugged her mother, Miwa Stevenson, who said she had been anxious about the surgery despite it being a relatively minor procedure. Kate replied, It's always a worry though for a parent. We have to keep our cool. It's so hard. Evelina's chief executive Gubby Aida said, with everything happening with the NHS at the moment, including long backlogs, the princess's visit has brought a feel-good factor to every room she visited and to all the staff. Single quote.